While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in God? Yeah, I do you. You believe in God, sister? Can I ask you a question? Let me ask you a question, sis. Give me, give me one minute. Give me one minute. You believe in God, right? What does God look like? And what does God require? Huh? What does everything mean? You know what I want, right? Say the twin. Come here, sister, sister. What's your name? Sister, what's your name? See, this is what's wrong with our people. We don't care about God. Everybody loves to say that they care about God and they know what God requires of them. But when it comes time to talk about God and to confirm the words that we've been taught, nobody wants to stick around. So let's figure out what does God require of us. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what did the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. So God requires what? For you to fear Him. I bet if I ask every single last person out here if they fear God, they'll say, yes, I fear God. Lord. To walk in all His ways. To do what? To walk in all His ways. And some of y'all will say that y'all walk in His ways. But I bet y'all wouldn't be able to name not one of His ways. Come on. And to love Him. Uh -huh. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. But, and some of y'all say that you love God. We just have three or four or five people that say that they love God, right? We don't. And with all thy soul, to keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. So that's what it means to fear God. That's what it means to love God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep his commandments. We must learn to keep God's commandments. That is why we made slave. We were made slaves here in America. That is why we get gunned down in the streets. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. You know you look like God, bro. Have you ever heard of that before? You know you're initial light according to the Bible. Give me the image of God. Cause some of y'all don't believe in nothing out here. Some of y'all been beat down so low that you don't even want to hear the words of God. That's but I right. bet you're gonna be at that Christian church in the morning celebrating Mother's Day in the name of White Jesus. That's right. Y'all all wanna get together when it comes to some fun and some partying and worshiping a woman, but don't nobody wanna serve God. Don't nobody wanna know who they are and what it means to please God. All you wanna do is please yourselves. Please yourselves. But guess what? God has sent us out here to help correct that and help teach you and edify how to truly serve the one true God. Read what you got. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. See, this is what y'all don't understand. Daniel saw a vision to where all the kingdoms that exist on his own were cast down. But those that don't want to fall with him and want to be delivered him must keep his commandments. Come on. Whose garment was white as snow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because the brother said that God is a spirit, which is true. But he also said that God didn't have a body. Read that part again. Whose garment was white as snow. The Bible says that God's garment is white as snow. If he has on a garment, what does that mean? God has a body. God has a body. Come on. In the hair. Oh, 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 oh. In the what? In the hair. In the what? In the hair. In the hair. Come on. Of his head. Of his head. Whose head? God's head. Yes, God is a spirit. He is a spiritual being, but he has a body. He, and he has hair on his head. Come on. What kind of hair does God have? Like the pure wool. Like the what? Pure wool. Like the what? Pure wool. So, a lot of people like to say they ain't seen God. Yeah, they ain't seen God. But God has given us a description of him. And it says that he has the hair like the pure wool. What other nation has woolly hair? The black nation. The black man. The black woman. Hispanic man. Hispanic woman. The Israelites. You are God's chosen people. You are the nation of Israel. God gave you his covenant. 
and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Hey brother, so what we're going over right now is the image of, watch your step, watch your step. What we're going over right now is the image of God. Have you ever heard any of this information right here? Let me ask you a question. What is a curse? Bad things will happen to us, right? Let's list some bad. Let me let me ask you this. Would you consider these things that happen to us here on this side a bad thing or a good thing? A bad thing, right? So these are curses. Watch this. What is this right here on this uh, on this brother's neck right here? It's a slave collar, right? What's it made out of? It's made out of what? Notice it's got these big hooks on it. It's made out of iron. They were made out of iron. If you go to any of uh, any of the museums, or uh, here even locally in Chicago, you will see some of the actual old yoke, uh, uh, yokes of irons that they use on the slaves. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 48, so remember, verse 15, God, Moses said, if we don't keep his commandments, 
God was going to put curses on us or bad things to happen to us, right? Now we're going to go down that list and see some of those bad things that God was going to place on us but not keeping his commandments. Come on. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So God said he was going to send enemies out of way and have us serve them. You know what? In hunger, uh -huh. and, and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness. So for food, we are going to have to serve an enemy. For water, for drink, we're going to have to serve an enemy. And for clothing, we are going to have to serve an enemy. Let me ask you a question. Who made that jacket? The Chinese? Okay, who made that shirt? Probably Mexicans. What about your jeans or your shoes? Chinese, okay. Usually the label's right there on the back. I know you can check it right now. But none of our people are making those clothes. You didn't go to our people and uh, we have the, uh, the actual raw material to create and produce to clothe our nation. We didn't come to that. Other nations made that for you. Read that point again. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. And in want all things. And in want of all things. Do you have a state ID? Where'd you go to get that from? State. Who runs the state? Too many people. What nation runs the state? Who, who runs the United States? So wealthy white people, right? So those wealthy white people, you have to go for the want or for your ID. But what did God call them at the beginning? Therefore, shall thy serve thine enemies. Uh, what? Thine enemies. These right here are actions of an enemy. These are not friends. These are actions of an enemy. But what else would he say? Jump back to the bottom. And in one of all things, and he, and he, and he, and he, that same enemy shall do what? Shall put a yoke. Shall do what? Shall put a yoke. Shall do what? Shall put a yoke. Come on. Of iron upon thy neck. Prophecy fulfilled. A messianic tale fulfilled. It happened. It occurred. What is that proving what? That this is a real book. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. I'm gonna show thy you sons more. and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. When did that happen? When were our sons and our daughters given unto another people? Look at this. Look at this. Right here, being sold. When were our sons and daughters given to another people? Starting 1619, right? So all of this came to pass. Who did this happen to? Us. Who is us? Black people. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. But what did God call us? First, we're going to finish this verse. Come on. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Come on. And thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. You see what's going on right here? Mothers, uh, children are being snatched from them. And it says that I shall be looking fair with longing for them all the day long. Meaning what? They're going to be wanting to try to get their children back. They're with me, but there's nothing that they can do. Come on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There's no power that we would have to get our children back. You ever seen the movie Roots? It's just an example. That's the white man's version. Have you seen the movie Roots? Remember the scene where the sister had to beg her slave master not to sell her daughter? And there was right. nothing her and the husband can do right. to get him back. Yeah. And she had to sit there and watch that wagon roll out to the, to the highest bidder. Do you remember that? That's what the Bible is talking about. That is in the Bible! This is talking about you! You are not black. You're not an African. You're not an African American. They grabbed us from the shores of Africa, but guess where Israel, the land of Israel is? It's Northeast Africa. We were fleeing from Roman persecution, and they grabbed us from the west shores and south shores of Africa and brought us here as slaves, all prophesied in the Bible. Hey, brother, what's your name? Raymond. So what we're going over here is nationality. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes. you believe in God? What is, who are you according to the Bible? What does God call you? And what's the importance of it? 
What does that mean? Not. What, what, what does that mean? You understand this, Richard? What's going on? Judah knows Jesus is black before he's in Miami. He's in the store that he's not in the past. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Let me see. Have you have you ever seen any of these uh, depictions before? Yeah. What's going on right here in these depictions? What is this? That's a slave trade. That's a slave trade, okay. What else? What about this sign right here? That's the slave trade here too, right? On the northern, the, the uh, Native American Indians, right? So called. But yeah, what, would you be surprised if I told you that these people are actually the people of this book? You said you were sent from the Apache, right? So guess what? That means you are also the people of this book. That's right. Who do the people in the world say the people of this book are today? You know what I mean by saying the people of the book? What do I mean? Ones, right? The Israelites. That's the people of the book. But for some reason there are white people that exist today saying that they're the people of the book. Why is that? Hey sister, what's your name? Huh? Okay. I'm oh, sorry. What's your name? Tyler. Nyla. Nyla. Nice to meet you. I'm Judah. Come, come, come here right quick. Where do you see yourself on that side? On the right side is what the people call us today. On the left side is what God calls us. Where would you see yourself on that side? As a nationality. Judah, right? You know, Judah is the head tribe of the nation of Israel. You know what an Israelite is? Give me Exodus chapter 4 verse 22. Let me show you what an Israelite is. So what are we going over? We are going over blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians true nationality according to the Bible. For long they have taught us that we were black people. First they taught us we were niggas, Negroes, colors, black, African, African American. Our nationality has changed every 10 years for the past 50 to 60 years. Right. Did you, did you know that? Why, what other nation's people nationality has changed over the course of 60 years? Every decade. Is that a people that actually really know their nationality? Or we just winging it, right? But let's see what God calls us. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. Come on. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh. God said to tell, told Moses to tell Pharaoh what? Thus saith the Lord. Come on. Israel is my son. What? Israel is my son. God calls us Israel. Israel print means print. Hast thou power with God. We are God's children. You are a daughter of God. He is a son of God. All of those people that you see on that sign, those are the children of Israel today. That's right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.